All right, so UV here, we'll UV this first. I'm gonna to go to modify. No, I'm gonna edit, delete by type history. I don't need any history on this. I'm going to go to uh, UV, UV editor. In here, go to UV shell, click on um, unfold, unfold. Wow, that, that cut it. Oh, was not what I expected. I did not expect that there to be a seam. We can always come in here and uh, stitch it together. So go to um, cut and sew and stitch together, go to UV shell, unfold. And there you go, you have a, a much nicer, supposedly much nicer, um, get this one here actually, is that, maybe not. Oh, I think so actually, let's sew, UV shell, unfold. There you go, nah, nice and, nice and circular. Scale it down, it's gotta be in the zero to one space. I'm going to move this over to the side here on my other, mo other monitor, and then I will uh, UV these other parts. This right here, object, come on now, there you go, object mode. It's in there, it does, it can be unfolded pretty easily. I am going to cut this one, I'm going to cut it down here in the middle, let's turn on my x-ray, go to my UV shell, UV shell, go to create, I didn't do this in the last one, create, you want to create uh, normal based? It gave me an error. What the heck? It's giving me multiple shells here. I don't know why. Create. It's giving me an error. See, it won't do it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Something happened here. Move this out of the way. And we'll stitch together. Stitch together. UV shell. Click on this. Unfold. We'll create. Normal based. It's not giving me normal based. Create. Oh, that's right. This doesn't it doesn't work in 2022. So go to a camera based. There you go. Now you go to. Um, we're going to come in here and we're going to go to edge. Let's select this edge right here, and then we will bring this back and we will cut that. UV shell unfold. There it is. Scale down. Put it in here somewhere. Zero one space. Boom. We're good. Okay. So there's that. Let's get this piece. Obviously, this is going to be the most complicated piece to do. Back in here, we'll just go to create and we'll do camera based. Doesn't want to select this object here. There you go. Create, camera based. There it is. There's my object there. And then we'll go to edge. I'm going to cut this along here. That's fine. So I'll cook. I don't want this to be docked. And lock that out. Go back to quad view. What the heck? No, my toolkit. Unlock this here. Drag that off. Okay, there we go. I'm docking this onto the UV editor, so it's all there. And then lock that. Okay, so there's that. Now cut this. Go to UV shell. We will unfold. Unfold. There you go. We got that unfolded. You might need to cut this down in here. Cut that. Should unfold. That'll make it unfold a little bit better. Same thing over here, edge and edge here. Cut that. Maybe shell unfold. There you go. All right, I think we're good there. That's fine. And then we'll shrink it down so it fits in the zero to one space. You're going to have to align these up in the zero to one space, of course. You're done. All right, so we got this that one there. Let's move on to this other one here. Go to object mode. Make sure you have that only selected. And then we will go to uh, create camera based there you go it's good and then I'll just uh, click on the shell unfold it I don't think I need to do any much else with that because it's already um, it's already doesn't have a back it already has a good seam along the back because there's, there's no faces on the back do the same thing with this one here go to object mode and then we'll just go to create camera based UV shell no UV shell click on that one Click on your unfold, and there you go. Scale down, and move that into place. Okay, there we go, there's that. And now we need to get these rivets, so I'm just gonna select, go to object mode, we'll just select all the rivets. In fact, we'll do it this way. I'm gonna select everything, deselect anything that is not a rivet, which will be a lot easier than going through and selecting all those individual rivets. That would be a pain to do. There's a lot of rivets there. Now with all these, just go to create, 
camera based. There they are. Go to UV shell. And then unfold. See, they're all here. So um, now what we can do is we can take all of our objects here. Select everything. We can lay everything out. If I remember how to do this, this is part I don't know why I always forget. Arrange and layout. And we want to gather shells. And then we want to lay out. There they are. That's all them laid out. Now, this is not that good of a layout. Go to give you shell here. You can make this bigger. You can definitely make that bigger. I'm going to rotate these. I don't want them to be crooked like that. That's going to be harder for me to do my job. If I want anything to be written on there, like if I want to have some sort of etching in there, maybe some runes or something on that, that's going to make it more difficult for me to deal with. I'm just going to move this over, rotate this here. Same thing with this. In fact, we should probably make this one vertical because that'll make more sense to us because it is vertical in the, in the image. Um, it might not be able to be vertical though. We'll move it over here. We have this like weird thing going on in the middle here. We could just stitch those together or something. We didn't actually create UVs for that, so it's kind of unusual in that sense. I'm going to try to move this up and get it into place. There it's in place. Now this one here. There it's in place now. There we go. I got all that. And then of these here, let's take this one here and move this over. We can, okay, I can go right in here. Look at that. Perfect. But we're going to move it over so it's out of the way of these other little ones here. I'm going to take the little ones, move them down here, and then move this up over into here. This is a better layout. This is a better textile density here. Go to edge. Or not, I don't know about textile density, but I'm going to select these edges here. We'll just sew those. So UV shell. We can unfold this. And that's, that's a better unfold on that. There you go. Oh, got to get these over here. So let's move this up. We'll grab all these. And we'll grab all these. And we'll move this over. And I'll move this down. And now these should be separated out because they are really close together. These little guys, they're really close together. We should separate them out a little bit. Move them. Move them. And so on and so forth. This is this, this tedious part. You just turn on NPR or something you like listening to on the radio. Whatever it is that you like to do to pass the time that allows you just to listen and not look at the screen. And you can kind of pull these things apart. This one's going to come up. You could relay these out, and maybe that will be faster because you can set the settings and the layout to separate these out. We probably talked about that in class by this point, but if we have not, then ask me how to do that, or I will show you later on in class. Probably talked about it by now because this is the last real model layout that we're going to be doing for the class. It just, it just works better if they're separated because what happens is you can get bleed on your textures bleeds bad. You don't want that because it messes up your stuff. And with this one here, it's just it's metal anyway, so it's not a big deal. These UVs are for like detail. Scratches, dents, nicks, stuff like that. Actually, we just do this one here. Scoot. Scoot. So this is what I'm going to be doing the rest of the video, so you don't have to watch the rest of it if you don't want to. And uh, yeah, get your UVs in there. You don't have to do it for the midterm, but um, you probably want to do it because you're probably going to want to texture this. And if you don't want to texture it now, you're probably going to want to texture it later because this is something you might want to put on your demo reel. All right, so I will see you in class.
Okay, good. We're done. It wasn't too terribly bad. Um, this I wish could be. We can make it smaller and make it straight across, but I'm not going to do that because uh, it, it would get a better layout this way here. If you want to have anything written on that, you might want it to be perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. That way, it'd be easier to line up. But you can still line it up even at this angle. So there's your your completed helmet. That's it. And um, have fun with that. Get it to look really nice, really good, and uh, I'll see you all in class.